to another video from In Your Mouth Barbecue. Uh, early Saturday morning. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, two pork shoulders. One on the Weber Kettle, one on the Pit Boss. Uh, I'm gonna try to run between 250 and 300 on both of them. Uh, it is chilly out, so I, uh, I'm gonna use a snake method on the uh, Weber Kettle. And uh, two by two by two, uh, three stacks. And uh, later on I'll show you how I set that up. Pit Boss is a normal setup, turn it on and go. Um, I'm going to make some carnitas out of these, so I marinated them overnight, and uh, you'll see the ingredients I used for that, and uh, see how it goes. So let's get started and uh, smoke on, and hope you enjoy this video. I got my two pork shoulders. Uh, I'm gonna trim them up. I'm gonna get rid of all this skin and uh, see what kind of fat I got left underneath the skin and see what else I can trim off this. By no means am I a professional, but uh, should get the job done.
All right, I'm gonna marinate these pork butts overnight. Um, get them ready for Saturday morning. Uh, I'm gonna sprinkle some black pepper on them, some uh, garlic powder, a couple squeezed limes, some orange juice, some more limes, I'll throw these on the side. And uh, my main one's gonna be this guy, yo. Salt and pepper. Let it go overnight and uh, flip it about six hours. I couldn't go to the store to get the bags, but we'll make it work. You know, times are tough. We'll make it work. This here's the snake method. I'm going three by three. Make your circle halfway around all the way. Leave some room for your water pan later. And uh, this should burn about 10 hours or so. Should be good to go. I'm gonna try to keep her about 250, 300. And uh, let's get this on, done. All right, my charcoals are ready here. Dump them on the end, get this thing started. We're about an hour in. I'm gonna check them to see what they look like. snake get a little water better keep going These bark up really nice. Uh, I'm gonna get them wrapped up. Uh, a little tomato juice, some OJ, fresh slices of oranges, wrap it in foil and uh, put it back on there until it's done. Probably about 200, 205. Check for tenderness and uh, take it off. Probably start with uh, two cups of tomato juice. Just pour it on the side here. Try not to pour it on it. Try to keep the temp up until I get it back on the grill. Two cups for the other one. I would probably just go a uh, cup of orange juice in each. Just you want that liquid just to cover the bottom of the pork shoulder here. It's pretty good. I'll just do another cup. One more cup in this one. Like so. Add uh, some squish. Fresh squeezed oranges. Just throw them in there. Maybe four each. One one orange in each. Use that little citrus flavor. Tuck it in there. Same old. Ready. Sorry, this is one more. Do the same. A little squeeze. Tuck it in there. A 
cover them up and uh, put them back out there. You can use a mixer to shred it. A lot easier than with two forks. Last up of this carnitas. Uh, squeeze some fresh oranges on top of it. Put some limes in it. And uh, we even see a little bit more with some of this tequila lime. Seem to like that a lot. Uh, you can use whatever you want though. And uh, make it to your own. I'm going to put this in the oven. Let it crisp up. And uh, it will finally be done. Oh, 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 oh,